What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of the NBA draft that's coming up tomorrow and we're going to be simulating the draft lottery here. So we're going to take a look at all the team's odds. We're going to look at the Raptors odds specifically and we're going to really dive into um, where we see the Raptors land. We're going to do 10, 10 simulations of the NBA lottery, see where the Raptors land. But first, I'm going to share this on your screen here and it's, it shows the current odds for every team including ties. Um, and this just shows the draft lottery odds. So we're going to go through it one by one, starting with the Houston Rockets. Have 14% at the first pick, 13, 12, 11 for the fourth, and 48% for the fifth overall pick. Clearly, that's the dominating odds there for them. And as you go down the line, you can see Detroit has the next best odds. Orlando Magic, OKC and Cleveland, Minnesota, and then the Raptors are sitting at seventh. Um, with a 7.5% chance at the first overall pick, 7.8% chance at the second overall pick, the third and fourth are in the 8% range, um, and then they can't get the fifth or sixth pick. So during the draft lottery tomorrow, if you see the Raptors are clear after the seventh pick, if they did not pick at that point, if their name doesn't come up, then that means they're going to end up falling in that top four, which would be absolutely tremendous for them. And so if you look at the sum, it to totals up to about a third. So 33% chance or so that they make that top four. And at the seventh pick, they got a 20% chance. The eighth pick, they got a 34% chance, which is their most likely outcome. The ninth pick is 13%. Tenth pick is 1.4. And the eleventh pick is nearly zero, but still possible. Then you got Chicago, Sacramento, New Orleans, Charlotte, San Antonio, Indiana, and Golden State all coming in for this one. So... Without further ado, we're going to share our screen and we're going to simulate this lottery and talk about what this means. So these are the best odds that are on here right now. So we're going to do our first simulation here. All right, let's see who gets the number one pick. So Cade Cunningham, these are obviously just uh, mock drafts. But on our first one, we got OKC with the number one pick. Rockets number two. Orlando falling number three. And the Raptors falling forward. Let's go. Already in the top four on the first pick, getting a guy like Jalen Suggs, an absolute beast out of Gonzaga. Three-point shooter, young guy. This would be an amazing fit for the Raptors. Top four would be absolutely amazing. Let's sim it again. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what happens. Okay, Raptors at seventh with Davian Mitchell as a draft pick. Donovan Mitchell's brother, obviously. That would be a great pick as well, falling in that top seven. Um, with Orlando getting Cade Cunningham, I think that would be a great fit for them. Uh, we know OKC got it before, obviously, in it playing next to SGA. I think that would be amazing. Uh, but Kate Cunningham next to Cole Anthony, Markel Foltz, and this young nucleus that they're trying to build, that would be pretty cool too. All right, third simulation. Here we go. Come on. Uh, Raptors seventh again. OKC getting it a second time once again. Uh, they got the fourth best odds here at 11.5%. They've done it twice now, which is pretty crazy. And the Raptors seventh again. Uh, looks like they changed the players too. Looks like they just re- so to put them, Scotty Barnes is their parent pick. Uh, here we go, another one. They're seventh again, three times in a row, the seventh number one. Uh, Cade Cunningham going to Cleveland, playing with the Sexland backcourt. I don't know if that's a great fit, but, you know, just trade Sexton's, trade Garland, make him fit because he's a revolutionary type basketball player. Here we go, fourth simulation. Okay, the Raptors eighth now. They fell one. To the Davion Mitchell pick at number eight, apparently. Uh, with Cade Cunningham going to the Pistons, that would be an interesting fit too. Evan Mobley in Houston playing with Christian Wood, that'd be interesting. Uh, Sacramento moving up to third, that's pretty impressive too. And yeah, Cade Cunningham in the Pistons, I think that would be a good fit as well. Playing next to Jeremy Grant on um, that young core. Obviously, they tanked this season. They have the second best odds at 14%, but I don't think Houston's gotten the first overall pick yet, which is crazy considering they have the best odds. All right, fifth simulation is looking good for the Raptors. Drafting third with Jalen Suggs. Beauty. Getting a nice young point guard again. Another guard level player. Um, or maybe they could pick Jalen Green. They're in that third pick, so they got flexibility. With Cade and Mobley being gone. And the Bulls moving up from eighth odds to first here. And Cleveland, again with good odds, getting Mobley. That would be amazing to see. I think I'm losing how many we've done here. I think this is the sixth one now. With the Pacers coming in at number one. The Pacers had a 1% chance. How have the Pacers gotten in and not the Raptors? What the hell? The Raptors getting Jalen Green, fourth pick. That's a good That's a good result for us. If they fall in that top four, that's huge for them. Here we go. Seventh simulation. Raptors fourth again. Jalen Suggs 
Cade Cunningham, number one. Evan Mobley, number two. Jalen Green with Pistons getting it again. OKC. Have we not seen the Rockets get it yet? Oh, my God. That's insane. They have a 14% chance. We've seen Detroit, Orlando, and OKC all get it. And Cleveland even, I think, was at least in the top two. Um, yeah, I think they got the number one in our simulation. But, wow. The Raptors, number four. Unfortunately, bad luck so far for the Houston Rockets. Where are they? 18? What the hell? Oh, it's because if their pick is outside, they get the fourth pick. So Houston's looking to keep that pick because of the OKC trade. Uh, here we go. Another simulation. I think this is our seventh one. The Raptors, seventh. Number one, the Houston Rockets falling fourth. Number one is, oh my God, again, the Orlando Magic, Detroit Pistons, Cleveland. They're all sitting in that top pretty. I think this is our eighth simulation. Come on, the Raptors got to get a one. Seventh again. Are you kidding? The number one being Minnesota. I think that would be huge for them. Imagine Kate Cunningham playing with that nucleus there. Uh, obviously, D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Edwards. Uh, you've got Cat there. I think that would be huge for them. They need those balls to fall in their favor. Here's number nine. The Raptors fourth again. Cade Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Jalen Suggs, Jalen Green. They're the fourth one. Cleveland getting the first pick. Still don't think we've seen Houston get the number one pick. They lost it again here to OKC. If it falls out of the top five or top four, I guess. All right. Last simulation, come on. Oh, Raptors are eighth. Davian Mitchell. Another solid area for them with top three being OKC again, Detroit, Houston. Um, obviously moving a big time was the New Orleans New Orleans team. They had about a 20% chance of landing in that top four. Uh, okay, so we've done 10 simulations, I believe. Let's reset it. Let's reset this page. And I want to try it again for the Raptors. We're going to go until we get the Raptors' number one pick. Okay, so we're going to simulate it again. All right, Cade Cunningham, number one. Raptors third. That's pretty good. Come on, let's do it again. Let's get number one, baby. Hey, the Raptors getting the number one pick. Cade Cunningham, look at that. Only took 12 tries. So there's about a 1 in 12 chance. I think that's actually about right because they're at about 7.5% chance to, to get it there. So... That feels about in the right ballpark at about the 12, 13, 1 in 13 chance. If this happens, though, revolutionary change to Raptors basketball. You get a, a point guard in Cade Cunningham, obviously going to be filling the void for Lowry, assuming that um, he's not going to be playing for the team, whether it be through sign and trade or whatever it may be, him just walking in free agency. Um, but that would be huge for them if they were able to get Cade Cunningham, number one, got him next to Fred Van Vliet. You built a core, a guy who can pass the ball, sort of distribute it, can score everywhere on the court. Basically, is similar to Luka in that sense. I don't think he's as good, to be honest, from what I've seen, but he would be a huge fit for the Raptors. Um, and yeah, took us about 12 or 13 tries. I think that was our 12th try, and we got it. So let's go. Raptors getting the number one pick. Uh, tune in tomorrow night. I think it's at like 8 p.m. Eastern, 7.30, something like that. Uh, we've got a big night because the Raptors will be looking to get that number one pick or ideally falling in the top four. Like I said, I talked to you guys about the odds. I'll show them again right here quickly. But the Raptors in desperate need of making that top four. That would be huge for their roster. Even t honestly, seventh or eighth is fine too. Uh, we didn't see the Raptors drop much beyond nine or 10, obviously low odds of that, but seems like they're basically going to be somewhere in that top eight, ideally in that top four, but we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching again. Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, make sure to tune in tomorrow. Fred Van Vliet's going to be representing the Raptors. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out.